Paperwork packages are a huge administrative burden for supervisors and craft. The costs associated with printing, assembling, handling, closeout review, and conversion to QA records of paperwork packages are extremely high. With EWP, planners still use the existing work management system to develop electronic work packages. This is a typical workflow showing how the EWP process is integrated into the existing workflow. EWPs are generated or assembled automatically by combining information from various existing plant data systems. Work packages can be electronically assembled automatically based on user-specified criteria, for example, planning complete or work order ready. Work packages can also be electronically assembled manually here, a planner searches for and manually creates a EWP. EWPs eliminate most of the supervisor and craft burden associated with managing paper work packages. Supervisors and others who have security authorization manage the library of EWPs from the EWP workstation. The location and status of all EWPs are easily accessible and transparent. Supervisors can open and review all the documents and drawings associated with the EWP at any time during the workflow process. Here, a supervisor opens an EWP and reviews the work order, procedure, drawing, various forms and job site images. If desired, the supervisor can add comments or overlay progress milestone markers to further automate task status updates from the field. Prior to EWP assignment, a supervisor can electronically review or add EWP comments, view and release holds, view m and -E, check for alerts, and review EWP steps from the audit view. Supervisors can add desktop information to EWPs by using the edit function. Here, a supervisor adds a document to the work package. Documents can be added from the controlled EWP library or from the local or network desktop. In this case, the supervisor adds a FME checklist to the EWP. Note how the application prompts the supervisor to select what EWP tab to place the FME checklist in. Prior to EWP, validating the control documents repetitively through the work package lifecycle was time-consuming for supervisors and craft. The ability to quickly verify control documents electronically saves significant supervisor and craft hours. Supervisors assign EWPs electronically. The supervisor selects the desired EWP, selects Assign, and has three options for assignment. EWPs can be assigned to a device, tablet, crew, such as mechanical, electrical, INC, etc., or to a person. EWPs can also be assigned for walk-down only. The assigned EWP is now ready to be checked out by the craft to a tablet device. Craft log on to a mobile device and go to the Check Out New EWP to Tablet view. From this view, the craft checks out the desired EWP. Craft selects EWP available on tablet to change iPad view that shows EWPs checked out to this device. Craft selects desired EWP, then selects Open to view and edit work package documents. Worker and supervisor review work package and perform pre-job brief. Selected EWP documents can be opened, reviewed, and annotated during the pre-job brief. Craft can also validate controlled documents electronically prior to starting work from the tablet, which can significantly increase wrench time. With the pre-job brief complete, Craft heads to the M&TE shop to check out needed M&TE. Maintaining M&TE traceability for each work package is greatly improved with EWP.
Each piece of M&TE can be scanned into the applicable EWP at any time while the EWP is checked out to a tablet. All M&TE added to the EWP is summarized in a single view. EWP-specific M&TE data can be used to update existing M&TE tracking systems to maintain equipment traceability. Operations authorization to start work can be obtained by stylus signature on the EWP tablet. Operations can also authorize electronically permission to start work, close out of completed tasks, and approval of individual permits or forms needing operations approvals. EWP can interface with the plant clearance system to provide clearance boundary information and, if desired, remote clearance sign-on and sign-off capability. Proper unit and equipment can be validated using the EWP barcode reader. Scanning the equipment barcode tag is validated against the EWP designated equipment information and displays if a match or mismatch exists. Electronic verification that the craft are working on the correct unit and component could prevent serious injury or significant unexpected plant events. Craft select the field work start icon to notify supervisor and if desired, update plant scheduling system that a work activity has started. Craft selected desired EWP and opens the appropriate procedure to document work on the tablet. While work is performed in the field, should problems be encountered, Craft can remotely submit change requests, return to planner, return to supervisor, or force sync to transmit new data or images for viewing by others to assist in troubleshooting. Craft perform work activities using standard procedure use and adherence practices by annotations on existing procedures, work instructions, and forms. Craft can use the tablet camera to take as found equipment condition, as left equipment condition, and general work area images. These images can be used to improve equipment reliability and future job execution. Craft can also access the EWP system from a workstation. Shop or non-field work assigned to Craft can be completed without using a tablet from a workstation. Additionally, Craft can assign and work selected tasks, such as job jar tasks to themselves and progress tasks assigned to them if desired. Parts information for each EWP task is recorded and summarized electronically. Parts information data can be used to improve parts planning, reduce wastage, and improve material traceability. When craft complete field work, they select the field work complete icon to notify supervisor, and if desired, automatically update the plant scheduling system that the task field work is completed. Throughout the work process, craft can add different types of comments. While all comments are part of the EWP, selected comments will be electronically transmitted back to the Enterprise Asset Management System. This single point of data entry saves resources and time throughout the entire work management process. Once the task is completed, Craft select the check-in icon to remove the EWP from the tablet. If desired, the supervisor and Craft can perform post-task review using the tablet prior to checking in or removing the EWP from the tablet. Supervisors log on to the EWP workstation to review completed work packages and to select which documents will be included in the final QA record. If needed, the supervisor can also route a completed package for additional post-work ISI, welding, ANI, or engineering reviews. The supervisor edits completed tasks to determine which documents are to be retained as QA records. The final EWP QA record is generated and transmitted electronically, which provides a significant savings when compared to the paper work package QA record process. Implementing EWP will significantly reduce the cumulative impact burden associated with the work management process.